Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, importing title animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've ever created titles in Adobe Premiere Pro, you'll know that the title designer is a designer, but it's not an animator. All of your animations need to take place in the timeline. So if you've created some lower thirds, as I'm going to show you here, with keyframes, how do you bring them in? Because you don't want to bring in the whole project, I just want to bring in the lower third. Let's go have a look. So I want to bring in my lower third to this video here. I know I created one in another video. I'm going to go to the media browser, not file import. In the media browser, uh, I'm going to find my clips. And what I'm looking for is a project that I created with some title animations. And when I click on the project on the left hand side, give Premiere Pro a second and it's going to open up and show you everything that is in that project. And some of these are titles, some of these are sequences, and some of this is footage. Now these titles, I can bring them all in, but they'll just be the title. They're not connected to a timeline. This timeline is where I have my animation. So if I double click on this timeline, so double click from the media browser, you'll notice that it opens up with my titles and you can actually see the titles directly here. So it's important that what you're looking at uh, here are two different tabs. That's the tab for the sequence that's in my project. This is the one that's in the media browser and you'll see in parentheses it says source monitor telling me that this is not in my project yet. If I wanted to import this whole damn thing and put it in there I could do that. I don't. I don't want 50 million things. I just want the three layers, three titles that have the animation. So the cool thing in here is I can uh, set an in point and I can set an out point. So I'm only bringing those pieces in. If I go back over to here and if I, you'll notice my in and out point is in my source monitor. If I click overwrite, guess what it does? It inserts the title just like that. Now there is one little tip that I'm using and that's this button here, insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. So by default this is switched on, it's blue, and if I overwrite this, this is the same thing, but it's a nested clip. I don't want that, I want the pieces from that clip. So I'm gonna undo, make sure this is turned off, then I click and overwrite there it goes. You can also use the pancake timeline which I've shown in another tutorial. So let's say that I drag this to the top and you can see this is not, right now it's beside uh, that one but if I drag it down they're on top of each other. If I give myself a little bit more room I can now drag from here to there. So it's it's the same way, it just if you're more comfortable dragging and dropping, you can get it done that way. Let me just reset my workspace. The bottom line is whatever way you use, you now have your titles in here. Uh, so I've got this animation with several titles. So if I open up my um, effects controls, you can see that I'm animating the top, I'm animating the middle and the bottom. So now if I want to change the text in this title that's now in this, um, I'm just going to close that one up so it's not in my project anymore. If we go over to my project, you can see my titles have shown up and I can either double click on them here and change them. And you can see they change directly in there. The second one is below, select that, and it shows up. And now I brought in my new title animations from all that hard work I did on a title in a completely different project. Using that little secret switch there to bring in just the pieces I want instead of the whole comp, the nested comp, or the whole project, 
just bring it in. That's how you import your title animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.